Guys, this is the new Outback Fury XC from FTX. Now I'm doing this little introduction. This video was recorded back in, I think it was July time when I first got this from FTX. It's only just been released due to all the shipping delays for pretty much everything in the world at the moment. So it's only just come out. This was one of their um, pre sort of retail or pre-production ones. Anyway, this video is old. You're seeing it that I'm talking about if you're here before 50,000 subscribers. We're over 60 now. There was a team associated MT10 competition at 50,000. I've actually still got that MT10 because the winner never came forward. So that will be coming up again soon um, for a subscriber giveaway. Anyway, this is the new FTX Outback Fury XC. This video was a while ago. I had loads of issues recording it because I forgot my SD card for the camera. Here's the video. These little things are awesome. Cheers for watching, enjoy. What's up guys, welcome to the channel. On today's video, we have got another FTX. Yes, I'm an FTX fanboy. Anyway, this one is the Fury XC. It's a 1 16th scale. It's come along to join the Ranger XC, which is like a Land Rover Defender um, style. And this one is a Jeep Wrangler. Guys, if you're new to the channel, firstly, thanks for watching. And if you're here before 50,000 subscribers, this team associated MT10 could be yours. There's a link in the video description where you could uh, enter competition to win this awesome basher. So this is a pre-sale uh, pre version. So it might have uh, more stickers on it when you get yours. Um, it might not. They come in this bright yellow, they come in blue and a white as well. This yellow color is awesome. I don't know how well you can see it on camera, but it's very bright. But yeah, yellow, white, and blue. So it's 1 16th scale. There's its baby brother, the Outback Fury um, Mini. It's quite a big difference, isn't there, between 1 16th and 1 18th? It's got, you can just about see, it's got like a little bit of a, a flake effect in there just see it shimmering. I know what people are thinking as well, another Jeep. They're popular, they must be popular, otherwise they wouldn't keep doing Jeep bodies. But you can get the, the Ranger, which is a Defender body as well, if you're more into the uh, Land Rover Defender. I know how capable these are, because I've already got one. Uh, this is the new body style. We're gonna take it out today and give it a good run. So it does come with front lights. And also you've got some rear lights there. They all come off of the receiver. So you've got a normal receiver there and then you've got little connectors there for your lights to plug into. Hobbywing 1625 um, ESC there. Uh, 370 motor goes into reduction box, into the gearbox there. Three wire micro servo, one of my favorites. It's got oil shocks as well. Underneath just your normal crawler, four link suspension there, plastic axle housings, that's plastic, it's just colored red. Plastic drive shafts as well. Glued tires, but nice and soft. Really nice tires on these. And overall, a really nice looking truck. And it's, I like the, um, not clipless, but it hasn't got the body posts coming through. It um, attaches underneath, so a nice clean look on the top there. Comes with 1100 milliamp power, um, nickel metal hydride battery recommend i mean these are fine it does come with a charger as well and um, i run mine i've run mine on lipos in the past or lithium ions as well and they're absolutely fine uh, these are good these are fine but you will get a little bit more performance out of a lipo dumbo rc transmitter it's got steering trim throttle trim steering dual rate throttle dual rate and reverse switches you've also got a channel three there and this one's got a channel four uh, we'll look at what that does to the lights in a minute. Instruction manual and some um, spare body posts, some preloads for your uh, suspension and some body clips. Right, let's get a battery charged. Let's check the lights out. Just have a quick look at the steering and the wheel speed and then we're gonna take it straight out. Over a few rocks. Don't think there's much mud out there at the moment. The weather's been pretty good, but anyway, we're gonna take it on a decent run. Right, <laughs> be prepared for the lights. Just about see. You got some flashes in there at the front. They're not very bright at all, and um, they do. If I turn that off, they do work with the steering. But as soon as you put the actual lights on, which is channel four, <laughs> you can't see them. Okay at the back though. A lot of people don't like the turn signals. It depends, do they come on as soon as you start turning? No. So they're not that, you can, 
you can turn a little bit before they come on. <clears throat> and then as for the control, relatively slow initial takeoff, pretty good, not bad. Suspension, good. Right, anyway. So if you follow the channel, you'll know that it's not uncommon for me to go out to video stuff and forget something. And this time I forgot to put the SD card in my camera. Luckily we decided to go out for a bit of a family walk and I was gonna take the camera, take this truck, go on a bit of a trail and get some footage while we're out walking. So I uh, commandeered my wife's iPhone 12 Pro uh, and done the video on that. It's actually got a very good camera as you'll see. Um, I kind of forgot from the last time when I uh, took the other version of this out, the Defender, the axle hangs down quite low, uh, so it does struggle on rocks. Definitely more of a trail truck. So I did take it on the rocks, as you can see, and it performs okay. It's not perfect, but where this really does do well is on the rough terrain and like bits of mud and some smaller um, rocks and stuff like that. Very nice little 116 rig it looks a bit bigger than 116 to me but still a very nice rig uh, and my little girl enjoyed driving it as well good area for her to practice and she's starting to get the hang of it now so i'm pleased with that these are ideal these small scale ones go out with your kids and let them have a go get them involved and get them into the hobby anyway enjoy the rest of the video